Hello, and welcome to this tutorial for Cognos Analytics. In this tutorial, I will cover how to add a date range prompt to a report. Here, I have a report with one column of data that is also a date field. We will create a prompt based on this column. Date of sale. From your far left toolbar, we select the pages icon. There are two folders listed. One for report pages and one for prompt pages. Our current report with a date of sale data is listed as page one under the report pages folder. To create a new prompt page, click on the prompt pages folder. Now, select the plus icon in the right hand corner to add a new page. This creates a new prompt page. Double click on the new page located in the center of the screen. To begin, select the plus icon in the center of the screen and select table. For this layout, I will choose one column and four rows. Select OK. There are now four rows with plus icons. On the second row, select the plus icon and choose table. I am going to add a new table with two columns and two rows. This is where we will place our date prompts. From the far left toolbar, select the toolbox icon. Expand on textual. Select the option, text item, and drag it over to the top left table square and let go. A new text pop-up box will appear. Here I will add, start date. Do the same but with the corresponding box to the right. Enter end date. Next, expand prompting. These are your prompting options. There are two date prompts. I will choose the date prompt option as I am not concerned with time in my prompt. As with the text box, select your data prompt icon and drag and drop in the box directly below start date. A new pop-up will appear. I will name this parameter start date. Select next. As I prompting on the date of sale field, I will point my data prompt to that same field. My operator sign will be greater than or equal to. I do not want to make this filter optional. Select finish. Repeat by dragging date prompt into the box below end date. Parameter name will be end date. Select next. As I prompting on the date of sale field, I will point my data prompt to that same field. My operator sign will be less than or equal to. I do not want to make this filter optional. Select finish. On the last row, select the plus sign. Create a new table with two columns and one row. We will drag the prompt buttons, cancel, and finish, near the bottom of the report into this new table. As we only have one prompt page, we do not need to add a back or next option. I will select on the bar and hit delete to remove these from the report. We can now run the report to test. In the top blue banner bar, select the run icon and choose run HTML. I am prompted to select a starting and ending date. Once I have done this I will select finish to process the report. You can see only the dates in my selection range were returned. Thank you for watching this tutorial.